Are you in here, Patrick? I did tag everyone and say we'd be getting started right after. Um, Uh-oh. It's been a rough week in the bad house. I told you guys last night, so we're probably going to hear tears here shortly. Uh, what's up, Mopar, Patrick? Honestly, guys, like if we're hanging out later and we we want to open more score, I can hop back on later tonight and do some more score packs. Listen, it's ten dollars a pack. It's a good deal. I'm telling you. Like I said, I just stopped again in the hobby shop and he's running. He's getting low. He says he might need another box of mine, and he's selling for thirteen dollars a pack. So they're they're selling. Manuel Sanders with 35. The other hobby shop, they didn't get much. They only got like a couple of boxes. They've been sold out. People keep looking. I think they're actually going to the other hobby shops they don't generally go to to get it. I walked into my hobby shop, and this is crazy because I've been going to this hobby shop for about since I started this back in December, really. like started looking into this stuff. Sorry about that, guys. It's a little loud down there. Um, and... I walked in the other day, I think I told you guys this, and it was like completely packed. And so I talked to the guy the next day, you know, I, him and I have a pretty good relationship. And uh, Oh, that's cool, Sean. You get to see that. What's up, Rolo? But yeah, he said that... Um, He's never, in all the years he owned the hobby shop, seen a rush like this for cards. So he brought in all these blaster boxes because he can't get hobby right now. It's just too expensive for like you know the people coming in, and uh, he's selling out of like just blaster boxes left and right. He's never done that. He said he just needed product. People are just buying up stuff. It's just cra that's crazy to me. Like it's it's cool to see the hobby back. This reminds me of when I left it, like right before I left it, it was starting to die down. Um, and I don't want to say die down, but for football it was. At least locally, I shouldn't speak like, you know, nationally, but like a lot of our stands are starting to dwindle on our flea market. This is Zane's pack. Sorry guys. That's why we're just going to do this for now. I'm going to get him in bed. I'm sure you can hear him screaming. That's not typically him. It's... We got a Godwin out of 50. funny thing is if he knew you guys could hear him he'd stop it instantly he doesn't like to cry in front of people kids negotiating I'm so sorry guys He's trying to negotiate some TV time. And he wants to come in and help me so he can earn TV time. It's not funny. I feel bad. The kid's exhausted. Once again, he didn't take a nap today. He hates naps. As I think most kids do. But... Buddy, I'm going to be out in five minutes. Can you go with mommy, bud? Sorry, guys. One second, guys. Excuse me. Oh, never mind. My wife handled it. She's been awesome. <laughs> I can't help but laugh, dude. I. Ah. <laughs> uh.
Thanks, Max, for understanding. I, listen, you guys are so understanding. I know. What I don't like is when it happens for long, like a long time. Because, listen, I'm a, I'm a like an elementary teacher. I've worked in daycares in my whole life. Kids crying doesn't bother me even at all. But even after, like, if I'm in church and a kid's crying for like 45 minutes, it, it gets old. Even five minutes, it gets old. So I'm sorry, guys, if he's uh, a little loud. <laughs> I just love how kids negotiate. It just cracks me up. What do we got here? How about a Clinton Portis? Ah, oh, we were one pack off from my boy. I think Zane is a Broncos fan. So Rolo, maybe you can reach out to Zane. I don't know if he's interested in a Clinton Portis, but award winner's autograph, Clinton Portis. Wish it was numbered, but it is an on-card auto. That's a pretty nice card. Yeah, Jeremy, you like that? It is a nice card, man. It's that's pretty cool. I like those like those on card autos they throw in the score. Potato sack race. Here we go. Gasecki, Barkley, Vanderesh, Prol, Izzo, Gallup, Freeman. Uh, at least there's a Rosen in there. How do they get away with that? Like, how has someone not been like, dude, fix it? Like, right, like, there's, like, in every factory, there's quality control. And I feel like if I was, like, you know, there's got to be pack testers that go through and open, like, sample packs. And they got to be like, guys, you, got, you can't have it this. I've opened up enough of other products that I don't think that that happens in most sets. Alan, is that how old you are? I wondered, man. You know what, though? I say to be a kid again, and I told my wife, like, so we'll, we'll be like, we'll say to my son, um, all right, buddy, that you've, ha you've had TV enough. That's enough, like, screen time. You, you guys know how it is. Um, and I said, if anybody ever came up to me and was like, uh, okay, that's enough screen time, I'd probably smack the shit out of them and be like, don't tell me what to do. It's my life. And these kids, you know, it sucks. Like, I remember being a kid and being frustrated, not being... I was like, I don't really want to be a kid again. Because I, I like being able to be in charge of my own decisions. <laughs> like, you got to eat whatever they tell adults tell you to eat and stuff. Like, I don't want to go back to that. I'm, I'd like to go back to college again and do that over. But I don't know if I'd want to be a kid all over again. So that was pack four. That was your first one, Sean. Sean, when's your birthday? Did you? Oh, you just had one. So yeah, you're you're like you and I are pretty dang close in age. I'll be thirty five in November. I mean, it breaks my heart. I'm, I'm going to get through this stuff and go hang out with him tonight, guys. That's another reason. He hasn't had a lot of time with me. And Sean, this is your pack five. I was going to say, man, I, I the gold always gets me, Sean. I was like, if you pull another Trubisky, like, low number. Sean pulled that Trubisky one of one out of um, Contender's Draft. And, I mean, from the sounds of it, the card has good value to it, which I would thought I would have thought so, too. It's a sharp-looking card.
Zach, um, is that you like get through these cards quick or I'm not in a rush man. he can wait. He needs to learn a little bit of uh but if you want me to rush you because you're sick of hearing it, I can do that. <laughs> like I said, that's not excuse me a second. Here we go, Zach. Truthfully, guys, honestly, I, I'm, one of the reasons I'm not rushing through is I look forward to talking to you guys. I mean that. Like, uh, I know I'm not really, I'm talking to you, not with you, but um, it's kind of a crazy day for me. I work, I told you guys before, I work at a kayak place, um, and <clears throat> there was a lot of changes going on and stuff, and I've already been swamped trying to get like these packages out in time and I kind of like told him the dad wouldn't be back this year so it was like a kind of a spur of the moment decision but one that needed to be made because um, I, I plan on I'm pursuing this heavily guys we're gonna have a fun year breaking cards and uh, I want to be available more to do more cards to to ship faster um, to do some different things. I was saying, I didn't get to really share the idea with Sean yet, but th that whose pack was that? Zach, that was your pack, man. Um, Alan, you have a 20-year-old. Holy cow, buddy. You have lived it, man. And you sur you're surviving. That's That gives me hope, dude. There are days that I'm like, how do people like, like I have two, and I'm like, how do people have like three or four kids? Like after two, it's like, hey Richard, this is yours if you're in here. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm working on this concept of a, a pack war tournament. Like you guys, if you've never heard of pack wars, which I'm sure most of you have, like ever both, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, but essentially you both open a pack and you decide, some people do it with like the the heaviest player on a team. So like let's say like on the back if it says their weight, this doesn't. Um, or you can, a lot of people do lowest number in the pack or whatever. But I was thinking it'd be fun to do a pack war tournament where you have to be you know be committed to each round. Kurt Ben Kurt, whose pack is this? Oh, Richard Myler. Um, and at the end, if you are the last survivor of pack wars, not only do you get all the packs that you won, because in a pack war, if you win, you get both packs. Um, um, you would get like a bonus box at the end. So it would be something that we'd have to say, like this is the max number you'd have to spend to win. So I'm kind of working on that concept. But those are the kind of things that I, I really want to take the time to work through. And guys, if you ever have ideas, you're like, hey, I thought this would be a cool idea. Can we try this? I would say you started early, Alan. Holy cow. You know what, though? Good for you. I bet you uh, it, it got your butt in gear, right? I mean, you can't be a child and have a child. I mean, people do it, but... It...
Yeah, Sean, I turn the volume off because all hell has broke loose in my house. I'm not happy with what's going on outside right now, and I, I don't really want anybody to have to deal with the sound of what's happening. Um, so I apologize, guys. Again, generally, we don't break this early. Like, even jo uh, who was just saying, like, early. Um, oh, I guess that was Alan talking about. Uh, yeah, we generally don't break this early, and that's because my son's usually like, calmed down. He's ready for bed. Like we're, so I just turn the volume off. But Sean, this is your pack. There, you got the uh, Ishmael card. One hot day, and that's all it takes to put someone in a mood like that, I guess. Hey guys, I want to thank you for uh, just popping in real quick earlier tonight. Uh, I am probably going to call it tonight. Be, be on the lookout. I am going to post on our page tonight um, the majestic prices. We do have a lot of the spots filled. Not a lot, I should say like half. Um... Patrick's pack. Cameron Petway. All right, guys, again, thanks for joining, man. I appreciate it. Uh, nice to do a little box. Um, we have more score than I honestly would like to. Sorry, I didn't flip to the last card, Zach. Um, that was rude of me. I apologize. You did get a Geis. A Shark. Sony Michael. Sam Darnold. Um, yeah, so we do have some more score. I honestly think we're due for a hit. Now, my understanding is that there is a, a one RPA... Per, um, I agree, George. I'm, I'm going to go do that right now. Thank you for. Hey, George, if you're on Facebook, could you message me? I, you may have for. Matter of fact, let me just check real quick. Um, George, could you take a minute and message me on um, Facebook, please, if you could, and make sure I have your correct address. So that would be helpful, man. All right, guys, you have a great night. I'll be back tomorrow with some news, uh, with some uh, a mixer or something, guys. Thanks for your patience, and y'all have a great night.